basically we all welcome you to a solid work sessions a demo session for solid works so basically uh, what is solid works solid work is actually a feature rich software it helps you to design any imaginable designs any designs which you think of rather be for manufacturing or just 3d modeling or any other soft design which you think you can even design many complex machines and everything and analyze them in this very software itself so what is the importance of soft this solid works basically the main importance is it is mainly used for planning visual identity ideation modeling feasibility assessment prototyping etc etc usually when you think of a product you actually use cad software various cad software to first model it to uh, you know you can run simulations on that model as well as to how it will run you can even run a finite uh, element analysis using software as well so basically solid works is a software you can model these things you can make robots you can make anything mechanical electrical every single design you can make 3d printed parts here itself on this software so what are basically the features in solid works so main features are part modeling as you all know so everything just starts with basic part modeling what you will model in order to get the final output assembly you can all assemble these small small parts for example if you make a assembly of a hand you'll assemble all the fingers or the joints together just to form an assembly then is an animation where you can animate these things as well and then there is a motion analysis about you can actually analyze how the motion will be when these parts will be mated together you can also add materials and everything inside solid works so why solid works is used in an industries because it is actually has a wide range of applications and solutions it can help you to increase efficiency of product development and everything so it is actually quite helpful if you use it in industries and everywhere so basically that's all for the small presentation and we'll just start with solid works itself so yeah so uh, basically what you can do in solid works is you can either design small assemblies like this as you can see just small assemblies of some parts and everything you can even make parts that are moving you can create animations with it this is one way of using solid works another way you can use is is basically you making complex parts and everything so yeah. so as you can see this is a lion's face with its mane you can actually make quite complex complex structures in this software itself you can see the amount of detailing that can be done it just limits on our imagination how much we can think how much we can grow this is basically how solid works works so now we shall start with the new uh, new presentation for our solid works we are making a new part you can also start with an assembly but for the beginner level we'll start with the part okay so basically coming to solid works we'll start with a basic sketch so what is a basic sketch where do will we do it let's say for example we choose front plane and this first option is a sketch this one will show whether the front plane is there or not okay you can also hide it and this is the zoom to selection and normal to means perpendicular for example you are in some sort of orientation you are uh, model is some sort of random orientation but you want it perpendicular to the front plane here is where you go so you basically click sketch and then we click the sketch bar we shall pin this bar for convenience it's basically better now these are various options which you can choose in sketches okay this one is the line tool helps you draw a line that actually three types of line given one is the line the common line which you draw okay then you have the center line this is the dotted line 
whenever you model things these are just for references and then you have the midpoint line okay this will just start from the midpoint and you can take it to weather direction okay this is the midpoint line you can also define the dimensions of these lines for example i want this line to be of 5 centimeters and make it 5 centimeters i want this angle to be of 45 degrees i'll make this angle 45 degrees okay i want this side to be of let's say 90 centimeters a very big line i want so i can make it 90 centimeters so it will adjust accordingly okay you can change the size of dimensions here as well and for example you made a random line let's say a random line here and you don't know how to define it you can go here display delete relations you can just click here it will show all the relations in the sketch okay now if you want to add any relations you go to add relations okay then it will add relation to this okay or now which is even the best option is just to fully defined sketch what does fully defined sketch you can calculate so it just basically calculates the entire thing and completely defines the sketch according to what you need okay so now let's say I'm over with this sketch. I want to create a new sketch. So you can create exit sketch from here. If you do it cross, then entire progress will be deleted. And yeah. Okay. So I don't want to see this sketch. So I'll just basically hide it. Sketch gone. So let's say top plane, I'm going to make a new sketch. So now the sketch will be on top plane. You can choose planes here. You can actually make random planes on yourself for example i make a square okay escape now what i want to do is extrude it you can extrude it you can either drag it here for a freeform extrusion or rather you can just uh, choose one centimeter three centimeter five centimeter whatever you need from here you can also select this plane sketches these all planes random made you can also select these planes for sketches and everything okay so let's say uh, i wanted to alter the original sketch so i'll just choose here boss extrude and here's the sketch which was the original sketch we can also show it we can also hide it if you want we can edit the sketch here now let's say i just uh, change the dimension a bit like this and let's exit the final product will be things and don't forget to save just remember you have to save whenever you make anything okay so let's say i save this file in desktop and call it part one and just save it so it works part file you can also change the type of file the like stp file stl files with drawings manufacturing these are various types of files usually people don't Remember how to convert a normal SOLIDWORKS file to STL file. This is how you do it. This is the step. So basically, for now, we'll just stay able to SOLIDWORKS part, which is the main file, basic file used. And we save it. Okay. So now coming on to sketches. Let's me hide this one as well. I'll now sketch on the right plane. What all you can do? You can actually make circles. So the circle various option to make a circle either you can do it perimeter use three different points and then make a circle you can also make rectangles and arcs there are various type of arcs center point arc tangent arc or a three point arc let's just make a three point arc one point selector second point and the third point this is how you will make a three point arc randomly in the space you can also make an ellipse the center ellipse partial ellipse parabola and other conics present so let's just start with the basic ellipse okay so let's just click on ellipse and then make it this is how you are going to make an ellipse so just a simple thing how to make drawing you can also make add letters in it sketch text and everything you can even make slots see you can even make slots and hexagons and everything 
even you can change the side let's say i want the number of side to be 9 this will also change as 9 or i want it to be 3 i will make a triangle I want it to be 4 rectangle this is how you can variously change the size these are basically the point of sketches and this is the fillet tool what does fillet tool do let's say you have two sharp edges and you use a fillet tool here between these two lines you can let's say specify centimeter 10 centimeter so will create a rounded edge okay or you can what you can do is use chamfer let's say i want to chamfer this edge and i want to make it 10 centimeter okay so i'll just chamfer this one instead a 10 centimeter chamfered edge this is basically how you chamfer it okay you can either select two lines or you can either select one edge let's say i do it cross okay this is basically how you use it chamfer and fill it in sketches okay let's say i don't want i just wanted to make this for reference i wanted the outer outer image outer the drawing to be final so i can easily make this for construction this one also for construction for construction and for construction i think that's all for the basic demo session and i'll just end here so thank you for your time bye bye